the podium, finance director, Alpha 2014 tax rate, Bravo default budget update, Charlie, September financials director. Okay, it's got me for a few more minutes than normal tonight. <laughs> <laughs> um, we hope to have, be setting the 2014 tax rate, um, hopefully by the end of this week, beginning of next week at the very latest, uh, so the tax bills can uh, get out and be due prior to the end of uh, 2014. Uh, it's important for, I think, everyone to remember that when we're studying this, we're actually studying the 2014 tax rate, which is a reflection on the Warren Articles and the budget and everything that passed back in March of this year. So it doesn't have anything to do with the current budget that we are working on, and there seemed to be some confusion around that. So I just wanted to make sure everyone understood that. Our best estimate at this point for the town portion, based on all of the Warren articles that were passed along with the budget, there would be a rate increase of 67 cents on the tax rate. So it would go from 704 to 771. It was only the municipal portion, just for the town, which is a 9.6% increase. We did give you guys all a packet you should have, and there's some breakdowns with some spreadsheets showing you all of what I'm going to go over here. Um, Mike discussed with the board back in March some of the um, this increase would be mitigated by applying some of the unassigned fund balance to the tax rate. This would help to offset the tax rate and increase for the town. It has been the town's practice to stay within the minimum recommendation of both DRA and the New Hampshire Governmental Financial Officers Association, which is somewhere in the 5 to 8 percent range. If the board wishes to do so, they can decrease the unassigned fund balance by $1 million. This would reduce the estimated 2014 tax rate to $7.44, or 5.7 percent increase over 2013. Um, the million dollars does sound like a lot compared to what has been done in the past, but it is made up of $500,000 from the NextEra settlement. Right now, um, in the reserve for contingency fund, a uh, set amount was set aside for that settlement. We settled for less than what they had expected to, so that money will be coming back into the unassigned fund balance at the end of the year. So that would be 500 of the million. The other 300,000 um, would come from revenues and 200 in under expenditures. Um, that's just our best guess at this point for where we're going to end the year. Uh, another option, if the board only wished to use the 500k from the next year settlement, it would uh, reduce the estimated 2014 tax rate to $7.62 or 8.3% increase over the 2013. I have discussed this with Fred prior to him leaving for his hip operation because of the fact that he and Mike had brought this to you guys back in March, and he and I both are very comfortable with giving you the guidance if you so choose to take the million from the unassigned fund balance. It'll still keep us within the DRA and the NHGFOA recommendations if you guys do want to do that. And it would increase, like I said before, the tax rate to $7.44, which is only 40 cents more than what it is right now. Um, the actual impact on the average single family assessed value home uh, would be it would be for this year for their impact would be $221 if you don't do anything to offset, to increase, to decrease unassigned fund balance, or um, $132 if you were, if you did choose to take the million dollars from the unassigned fund balance. So that is what I have on that topic for the 2014 tax rate. If you guys do wish to do that, we would need a motion because what happens is when DRA calls to set the tax rate, that's when I have to give them the guidance on what we wish to do, you know, so the decision does need to be made. So. Thank you, Director. Specifically regarding uh, Alpha 2014 tax rates. Christy, what is the exact amount as we're here now? Of the unassigned fund bill. We only have it at the end of 2013 because that's all what the auditors give, and it was 4.8. Okay. I'm sorry? 4.819. It was 4,819,000. So that's what we'd be pulling from. That's where you would be pulling from, and yes. DRA is requiring us to do the what, just under 3%? So just that would give us what? DRA is 5%, and if you look at last year's, we only have last year's numbers from DRA right now, but last year the 5% based on the expenditures and stuff was 2.8. Eight. 
and the 8% was 4.49. So in the end of the year last year, we actually ended up a little bit higher. Thank you, and Director and Selectman, just for um, clarification, the 5% you refer to for the public's knowledge refers to what? To the, what DRA's recommendation is for the, um, for the fund balance for 5%. the unassigned. Yes, 5%, they, 5 of what? Of, your, of the expenditures of the fund. Thank yeah. you. Um, okay, proceeding on that, because I'm trying to, to figure this out. 4.819 minus the 2.8 or 2.9, and I'm not, I haven't got my calculator or whatever. What would that leave What's us with 2. those? 2.9. Well, she said 2.8 is the 5%, 2.8, 2.9, we'll call it even 3 million. All right, so that would leave 1,819,000 roughly. No. No? I think that... The well, two point eight. Okay. The you. two point. So two point eight is the five percent minimum yes. recommendation of DRA and for contingencies in case something right. terrible the, happens. So we have a little cushion. Correct. And okay. Yeah. So and I'm, then the eight percent is the four point four. I don't care about eight percent. Okay. They're not going to get eight percent out of us. Okay. But what have we got left over that we could throw into the pot at tax rate setting? Just given those figures, end of twenty thirteen. If it's around 1.5 million, I want to make a recommendation. You're a lot better with the calculator than I am. <laughs> so you want to know the well, the, the minimum, which is the two. Well, what's no. left? What's what's left after you set aside the five percent? I did not bring that calculation because these are only based on what last year's numbers were. I, I, I don't. We, well, we're using last year's numbers, but just 2.8 minus 4.8 is going to give us around 2 million, gotcha. right? Yes, that is Actually, true. It's 4.819. Okay, yep. what I'm thinking of is this, and it, it's just a thought, but I want to run it by you. I agree with surrendering the 1 million. I've always felt that the taxpayers in this year that have surplus uh, available should have it to offset their tax rate. However, I was looking at debt service. And I identified three items, a 1999 wastewater treatment plant, that's an SRF, the 2005 herd farm, and the 2005 beach infrastructure. 382425 which includes interest on the 99 wastewater treatment. 2005 herd farm, we owe 103114 that includes interest as well. And the 2005 beach infrastructure, 37,286, that comes to $522,825. What I'd like to do is take the e extra money, if you will, that we'll find when you take the 2.8 from the 4.8 and kill those three debts. And we should save money on interest, I'm thinking, because well, I think one has one year left, one has two years left. If we can get rid of those three off the debt service, pay them off, save a little on interest, and, and start clearing the decks in the debt service, you did a great job consolidating. <laughs> but while we have the money, I would like to see us basically terminate and pay off those three items using that extra half million. So I'm just throwing it out for you, but I would like to see us clear. If you look under your debt service, you'll pinpoint those, and I, I'll be more specific. I think you know which ones. Yeah, I just need. pulled out the budget, so I yeah. do know which ones yeah. you're, two of them are expiring next year, in 15. Right. Those are the last payments that are due on yeah. two but of those. What, my theory, why leave them hanging like that, small you know, item, when we, when it looks like we have the money this year, to clear them off the books, even if we save a couple of thousand in interest on each of them, just it's taxpayer money, and then get that debt service down. So that's my speech. Thank you. Further questions for discussion? No. I'm, I'm prepared to uh, make the uh, recommendation of taking the one million. Okay. Can we just move yeah. the board, move it around the board, please? So, sir. I'll we'll stop for now. Sir. Uh, that was a good explanation of, you know, to people, I think, to realize how the tax rate set and stuff, which I think is important. And uh, I agree 
with taking something to, you know, because it's the taxpayer's money mm -hmm. to give it back to the taxpayers rather than keeping it. But, you know, I want to make sure that structurally, financially, we're in good shape. And weren't there some things in the financial audit that talked about some funds that weren't uh, being funded or, or we're not funded enough right now. So I, I just worry that, you know, I, I want to make sure that structurally we're in structurally in good shape, that we're not taking money now to make the tax rate more uh, agreeable, and then later on down the road we end up with something like, hmm, we should have been doing something else. So so th th that's what I'm just throwing out. And I, I, I don't know if that's too broad in general of what I'm throwing out, but I think that's important that we think about that mm -hmm. before we just go spending money, and right now we're at a really low interest rate, aren't we? Yes, we are so, at a very low interest rate. Yeah, I mean, so is it wise to, to, to well, pay off a debt right now or or not? There's 4% so. on this one, 4% on that one, 3.8. Those are the three, right there. All right, that's what I have. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, yeah. Look at them. There, there's uh, a motion in the waiting <coughs> and, uh, to address uh, Select Modell's point was on page 11 of last year's audit. It's the compensated uh, lead balance. We're out over a million dollars on that. Uh, research has been done that by the finance director, mm -hmm. Selecting Adele, which is a great point. And uh, there reduced discussion that that needs to be on a warrant article. That's not fully staffed yet. But that's not part of your course of action, your initial course of action that you talked to tonight. Because this unassigned fund balance cannot be used to just fund that okay. compensated absence fund, it would need to be put through as a warrant article. Mm -hmm. um, the only vehicle right now to fund that would be the employee separation and the buyback. If there's any money left in that, when the fund was set up through a vote in 2012 warrant, mm -hmm. I believe, it was set up that m whatever money was left at there at the end of the year. So if we wanted to do it through any other vehicle, it would need to be sent out as a warrant article. Thank you. And that doesn't mean it still can't be done. And there still could possibly be money available to do that. So, thank you, thank you, Director. A motion. I, I made the motion to do the one million dollar that okay. has been recommended by Christy and um, Fred and the former uh, finance director. Yep. I did consult with him also. Okay. On that. Okay. A second. A second. Griffin Bridal. All those in favor. No. All those opposed? No, I'm in favor of that, but I think we're missing an opportunity on that debt service. So all those in favor, it is unanimous. <clears throat> Thank you. Could I just make one more yes, comment as you were you were talking about the tax rate, Christy? Yes. There are we have not done the reval yet. That's going to take place next year, but nevertheless, there are properties and there's been a lot of building that are coming online in this tax year, and that will have an impact of lowering some of the overall tax base. So it's not like the same tax base without factoring in the new builds that, that is going to take the, the hit. When I, when I uh, prepared my estimates of what I believe mm -hmm. DRA will have, I did use the new um, valuation of property that Ed gave me, that he did on his MS1 that you guys voted on about a month or two ago, I think, in early September maybe. Uh -huh. So I did put the new val um, valuation in there. For this, for 14. Now, next year, it could also increase. As like of April saying, yep. 1st, 2014. <coughs> yes, the yes. thing he just did. Right. Yeah. 